I'm Eric Adia. This is my YouTube page. I've been having... So in this week's video, I'm down here in my hometown in Racine, where I went to high school, I grew up, came here last year for a slice. The reason I chose Racine is because they stock a lot of brown trout and steelhead right here in the Root River, in the Racine Harbor. It's a fantastic place, usually good action, good numbers. Kenosha can be as good or better, and same with Milwaukee or all the other ports, Sheboygan going all the way up to Egg Harbor. There's a lot of different places that you can go and catch giant brown trout right now and steelhead. But the first thing I want to do is I want to go over the rig that I'm going to be using because this is a lot different than walleye fishing and pan fishing because we are using hook setting devices. And I get a lot of questions from you guys asking me, what do I need? What do I, how do I rig it up? And so on and so forth. So we're going to start off with our reel here. I'm using the Carbon X, same reel I've been using all summer. Carbon X 2000. It's got the carbon drag. It's really, really smooth. Works really, really well in the winter. And you'll realize some of your high-end reels do not work good. And the drag doesn't work good in the cold. But the Carbon X PC Fun reels, they work great. They have a really smooth drag. They're priced really, really well. Check them out in the link description below. EH15. I'm going to promise you, you're going to really, really like this. And we have that paired up with my favorite rod for this this is a 40 inch medium hot rod these are our custom hot rod guys see how that rod just torques like that that is designed specifically for hook setting devices now a lot of you guys in certain states can't use these like in Minnesota we'll do a video about that someday but though I wanted to show you guys from start to finish basically how I rig this thing up right so we got a spawn bag on here this spawn bag is ready to be changed. Here's my rig. I've got a Gamagatsu number 10 hook. You can use a number 8 hook or even a number 6. And I've got 6 or 8 pound fluorocarbon leader, about 2 feet. A little two-way swivel and I have a couple of shot here. Now the reason I have a couple of split shot, sometimes I'll even use more weight than that, is because we are fishing the river. And in the river here, I need more weight down. So sometimes I'll have three or four split shots. And then I've got the ice stopper. That's not a bobber. So what, what I do is I take that depth finder. I open the bale. I'm going to go right down to the bottom. Bottom's right about there. There's bottom. See bottom? Now what I'll do is look, guys. I'll reel up maybe a full crank like that or half a crank. Pull my rod here. I'll put my ice stopper onto the side and I'll explain to you why that's really, really important. Clean out the hole. Spawn is the best bait that we're, we're, we're going to be using. We actually, yesterday was Christmas, guys, so all the bait shops were closed. Normally we come down here with minnows too, but um, we just had spawn, so I mean, you can use shrimp, and if you don't have shrimp, you can try a jig and spoon. Uh, little white tube jigs will work, but we're just all running spawn. Just gonna hook that through there, kind of break up a few eggs like that. And we're gonna drop that right down. Drop those split shots down. And what you wanna do is you wanna vary your, your settings, guys. So I'll have some of these set right near the bottom and some maybe halfway down, right? So this one's about maybe a foot off the bottom right here. Loosen that up just a touch. When it's cold, the drags get a little looser. Now here's the most important part. I've got a non-toxic de-icer solution that we use in the middle here, okay? So the line actually slides right through here. Crack that open, put your finger on the bottom, hold that like that. Take your fluid, pour it in. This is a non-toxic fluid, so it's not gonna hurt the water. Close that up. And the reason this is so important because it's 15 degrees out. This hole is gonna freeze up. If I didn't have this, my line couldn't slide up and down through here. Basically, you just take the rod tip here, guys. You hook it right in the jaw jacker. And what I like about the jaw jackers, this is why they are the best 
hook setting devices. Because I can adjust the tension right here, I can go a little looser, tighter, and a bait caster works fantastic. So if you're gonna buy a hook setting device, there's a lot of them on the market, I promise you, you're gonna be really happy with that setup right there. The 40 inch medium, that'll handle big pike, it'll handle good sized trout. We make a 36 inch, all different sizes, all different types. That's it for me to stop talking. There's a little intro. Now the boys, I think, got a fish on. Time to go. What do we got? All right, boys. We are starting off the ice season here with my man, Will. What up, Will? How's it going? We got Silas. What's up, Silas? What's up? We got Cal setting up a rod. We are just starting off the ice season, guys. We are going to show you the rigs that we're using here in one second. I think we got ourselves a little steelhead on. Looks like a brownie. Little brownie? Yeah. All right. All right. We'll take it. We are starting off here in Racine. We may move around. That's all right. First fish of the year through the ice. Actually, uh, we just caught a little brown that we let go. So number two. Did you miss one, Cal? Guys, if you come down here, you just want to be happy if you catch one fish, really, one or two fish. It's not a numbers game. You're trying to you're trying to get a big one. It's not bad. It looks like a mama, maybe. Okay, okay, okay. Talk to me. I didn't think it was this big. Okay, okay. You got the hot rod there or what? What's going on? We got the 40 inch hot rod. Here we go. That's a good one. Take your time, Silas. Hands are cold. Oh boy. Cal, we may need a tail grab. Silas is hesitating. My hands are cold. We're gonna do a little Instagram post here. Right? All right, we got the crew out here. We are hooked up. Fish number two so far. Just getting set up, just getting out here. We got our 40-inch hot rod, guys. Check them out. They are in stock. Big mama bro, let's go! Oh, fish right here, another one on. Go grab that one, Cal. Grab that one, we're doubled up. A little one though. Here, Silas, you want to trade with me? I'll grab him. I got it. Here. GoPro just died. GoPro just died? Oh, what else is new, guys? The GoPro died? Let's see what you're saying, Silas. Is it a baby? Yeah. yeah. Hey, just pull him out real quick. Not a it's lot of done. ice, so it's kind of. I'm yeah, going to try to get. Shoot up as easily. I'm going to try to pin her on the side of the hole here. And then. And then easy. Hard with this little ice. There we go. All right, here she goes. Here she goes. Here she goes. We doubled up, guys. Here we'll you go. Let her go. All right, go. let her go. Hold. Here you go. I'm gonna hold this right here. Nice teamwork, oh, guys. Yeah. We are on the board. First couple fish of the year with the boys. Starting off where I grew up here in Racine, showing you how to catch big browns and steelhead. Hell yeah, Will. Cal. Silas. Yes. Oh, yeah. Here you go. I'm gonna hand this to you, bro. All right. And here's the best part right here, guys. See that? We call that liquid gold right there. Now, if you do take the eggs out of a fish, um, just so you know, it does it does count towards your possession limit. So, on the board. Nice work, boys. We are hooked up. We are hooked up. Feels nice. Heck yes. Fighting like a steelhead. Oh yeah, we got a steal. We got a steal. Oh, another one. Another fish. Oh, right over there. Go. Go get it, Cal. Wait. Wait. Get it, Will. Cal's gonna come reel that in a sec. We're doubled up, guys. We're doubled up. Yeah, just take it. Oh boy. It's not a bad problem to have. We were just talking about moving. Yeah, well. Is he on? Is he on? We got issues, guys. We're doubled up. I just made her so long. It's cold, man. <laughs> yeah, I know, dude. I'm What's cold. that? 
Really? Great. You just lost your turn, just so you know. <laughs> oh, that's oh, a man, nice deal. so tiny, dude. I know. You know, I thought it was a great idea that we Terrible. used maybe four inch holes today for big trout. That's an eight inch hole, guys. An eight inch hole. Or is that an eight and a half size? Eight, uh, eight and a half, just to give you an idea. So when you do come down here, guys, now you know why I like to use a 10 inch hole. Oh my God. Take your time, easy. Oh, 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 oh boy. She's getting dirty. Oh. Sorry, I'm in the way. Yes, get out. Oh. It's okay, we got it. We'll take our time. Right, back. Oh! It's a boy! Yeah. Yeah. Let's go! Look, he barely hooked! Barely Look where his hooks are! Oh my god. Right oh, in the beach. Let's freaking go, guys! Are you ready? Can we get him back? Yeah. Hang on to that front. One sec. Cal's hooked up. Cal's hooked up. He's doing a bait change. His GoPro died. I'm grabbing the... Here we go. All right. I got you I a battery. I I set it and walked away. And it's right there where the spawn is over there. Hell yeah. I got to where that spawn is right over there. The importance of a fresh spawn. rebate. Yeah. Let's freaky go. Potato family. Potato family. Right here dark down. Oh, oh big fish. fish! Big oh, fish! Oh, oh shit, Naki! Oh, shit, hang on, Way take your time. Take your time. We'll go real loose. Hold on. All right, so here's the dilemma we have right now, guys. So we are a lot of big, a lot of these big trout. When you come out with us, we're gonna let them go, right? We are gonna release all the big browns and steelhead, so we do not gaff them. So here's what you're dealing with: big fish. Oh boy, big mama. Big mama, see, oh, yeah, no, what is going on with that? I'm getting it. Oh my God. YouTube channel. Oh my God. You... Oh, you want to see a big steel, guys? Look at this big steel head. Oh, oh let's man. freaking go. Meal, let's freaking go. Oh boy. That's Oh, she choked it. He choked it. Easy. That Easy. Yeah! Let's go! Let's Look at all. Look at that. Oh, hell yeah! Oh, hell yeah. And that's how we do it. Yeah. Yeah. Again, I still have brown eggs. Oh, that rounds up. There she goes. Right. Nice work, brother! Oh, yes, yeah. boys! Heck yeah! Oh, that rod is up. It's been up. Well, maybe I should race you guys over there. Go. Uh, I lose. Okay. Hey, hey guys. Good news. Cal is gonna do the closing for this week's video um, because I I'm the king potato. I don't know how to talk. I would just say thank you. Subscribe. Hit that like button. Leave a comment. Cal. Cal. See, I can't talk. What do, what do you have to say? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Here's what we got. We got Silas with the spear and we got a carp. All right. All right, guys, we're going to wrap up this week's video. Just want to thank my crew out here of guys that came out here today. Thank you. Will, Silas, Cal came out here for a half a day for four hours. Not bad. It wasn't great. We caught five, missed a few, caught some steelhead and browns. So not a bad opening. We got the boys that are going to do a little jello wrestling match here in a second. But that'll be for next week's video, guys. In the meantime, do me a favor. Leave me a comment. Hit that like button. I really appreciate it. That helps us a bunch. And subscribe to our weekly videos if you haven't tried trout fishing. Be safe. Get yourself a float suit. Early ice. Get some ice picks. We got those two. We got six inches of ice, so we're good here. But thanks for watching this week's video. We got to roll. We're going to go shoot another video further up north. We'll see ya.